guys, this is another episode of Awareness in Action. Welcome. If you have not been here before, then a very big welcome. And I'll ask you to subscribe below if you're listening on the podcast, subscribe on iTunes. And today we're going to be talking about about coaching and what you should actually, which, what you should know before you hire a coach. Uh, the, the, the coaching industry is so vast and it is so saturated. So if you're looking to work with someone or you're looking to work with a coach, what is it that you, what, what is it you should know? That's what we're going to jump into when we come right back, guys, when we get right into it. Things that you should know before you hire a coach to work with you. God bless. <music> Okay guys, so welcome back. So as I said before, uh, we're going to jump into what you should know before you hire a coach. But first of all, let me ask you if this is your first time here, then please subscribe to the channel that helps to support us. And also if you're listening to the podcast a bit later on, then please subscribe to iTunes, Spotify or whatever it is that you are Subscribe to. Okay, so let's just dive straight into the meat and potatoes of everything. So, <clears throat> the coaching industry, as we know, is absolutely saturated. Okay, there is in it. There is no regulation, and it's so easy to become a coach. And you can go and coach training and coach certificate and get coaches certifications and get seals and goodness, what else? What, what you know, whatever knows. Um, the reality is, is that doesn't. The reality is that doesn't matter because if you're actually looking for a coach, you're looking for someone who has experience, who has a breadth of knowledge, and who has wisdom to help you with the problem that you have. Whether it's life coaching in a relationship, whether it's it's in a business coaching side of things, or even if it's if it's you know a, a spiritual issue or um, even nutrition or health, wellness in some way, okay? You're looking to work with someone that can guide you. So here's a few things that you need to consider. I'm just going to go into a few uh, negative, not negative things, but a few things that, that might surprise you. There's many coaches out there that will go on a coach course and get a certification and instantly will put themselves out to work with someone, helping to change their life, helping to them to transform. And... The reality is, is that often these people don't have the experience other than a course behind them. They don't have the knowledge and they don't have the wisdom behind them. And I've seen many, many people that have offered to coach people on how to write a book when they have never actually written a book. Or how to, you know, go from being an executive to an entrepreneur and hasn't done it. Or how to coach someone in transformation within the business environment. Now, a couple of my colleagues, uh, actually a couple of clients and, and people that I have coached in the past, Helene and Anne, have requisite experience. They, they were, you know, Anne was a CEO, ran a multi, multi-million dollar company. And so she has experience and therefore can take people, CEOs, executives, because she has empathy, compassion, she has knowledge, she understands um, what the corporate animal is. She understands what perhaps that other CEO is going through. So she is ideal to be able to work with someone who's needing that type of thing. Similarly, um, Helene, who was a an HR professional, who had been working for many, many years in the corporate machine, who had been a leader and, and, and helped leaders and then has now you know transformed and gone into the coaching side. And her clientele come to her because she has that breadth of experience, that knowledge and that wisdom. They're not necessarily going to choose uh, a coach who's just done a course or got a seal and help that CEO change from running a multi-million dollar company and into some form of transformation. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that that CEO is going to look for someone who understands them and who can capture their message. So when you are looking for maybe a coach in the wellness side of things or in nutrition, you, you want to be working with someone who actually not only has the experience, but 
um, understands nutrition and not just somebody who's just lost a bit of weight, but un understands how they can help you, the physiology, the body, understands all these kind of things. And in the same time, you know, if you're looking for someone to help you with maybe a spiritual issue or to help your mindset change, you need to look at that individual and see what is their story. How, how, how can they help you? What have they gone through? What is their story in their life? What have they changed or transformed? So the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you want to hire a coach to help you either in business or in your corporate change or in your career, you are looking for the individual that has the experience. Example again, someone who's written a book and published a book all over the world and then can help an author craft and develop that for themselves. Someone who has experience in the health and wellness industry and then can help you in that same regard. Not someone who's just had a course, just done a course, got a certificate and has, actually hasn't lived life and that person's not the right person to take a CEO through a transformative change, okay? Look at the coach's backstory. Who is the coach? What is it that makes them unique to be able to help you? In the, in the case of, of, of Helene and Anne, the people that they attract are people that they understand, that have been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. And even though they change into something different, like for instance, Anne now is helping youth leaders She's coming from that experience of the corporate machine, the corporate environment, and she's taking it to the millennial voices, youth, okay? And she's taking all the knowledge and the wisdom, but her backstory, here's the thing, her backstory from when she was young is helping to build that story up in the present moment. So it's important that when you're actually looking to work with a coach, you want to work with a coach who has experience, who has a wealth of knowledge and who has actually been on the journey and can walk with you on the journey and take your hand on the journey and guide you. For instance, when I work with clients, I won't take anyone on that I know that I can't help. I'll refer them. I won't get myself out my depth. I'll help someone who that I know I have experience and empathy with. And that's what you guys need. You need to look at your coach and how, how you know, if they are teaching you to run a business and they're a business coach, have they actually run a business? Are they actually working for clients now? Do they market for companies now? Or is it just that they have a certificate in social media or they've got so, so many followers? It really doesn't matter how many followers they've got. It really doesn't matter the certification they've got. What matters is the experience experience, knowledge, and wisdom. That's what makes up a coach, okay? Experience is what's making up the coach. Experience and being there, having made the good choices and the bad choices that are able to take you through the journey to not make those same choices or to identify the blocks and what it is that you need to do in order to change your life. So look at the coach's backstory, ladies and gentlemen. Look at whether they really can help you in your business or in your change or understanding you. Um, it's not just about how shiny the website is, how great it looks and what the story is on the website. Or It's about them, you making the connection with them, you making the emotional connection and understanding that they know your voice. They have your message. They understand your message and they know how to package it in a different way. Or they can see the path that you're going down. There's other opportunities that might suit you better. They work deeper with you and deeply with you. It's not just about what's on the surface, it's what's deeper, what's below. Because what when you can't break through at this level, it's because down here at the root level, there's nothing you haven't changed anything. You haven't done anything to change. That's where it comes into play. And that's how you look. That's how you look for a coach. You're looking for a coach that's got experience, got wisdom, and you make an emotional connection with. So if you've got any any questions, uh, ladies and gentlemen, then you know, let me know. Message me, contact me on Instagram at Jock Brokers. Um, 
you can uh, contact me through uh, YouTube. You can put a comment below as well. Just anything that, that comes up in your mind that makes you think, oh yeah, that makes sense, or I want to know more, or I would like to, I would like to find out a little bit more, or I don't agree with that, and these are the reasons why. Then let me know. You know, this this is what it's all about. Because at the end of the day. I want you to gain valuable insights into what I'm doing that's going to help you make the right decision when you're looking for someone to help you with your health and fitness. A great health and fitness coach, you know, you know, John and uh, Nicole Cruz, Nicole Tiffany Cruz, who has been a colleague of mine, who's, who's, you know, I've helped in the past as well. These guys have got experience. These guys understand nutrition. They're, they're fitness enthusiasts. They do it day in and day out and they hold you accountable. You know, these are the type of coaches that are going to help someone who's needing to lose weight or needing to get fit. And again, a music coach, someone who is singing and, and has experience in singing and vocal training, you're going to go to them. You're not going to go to the, 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 the vocal coach who's just got a certificate as a, a coach and likes to listen to music. You're going to look for someone who has the breadth of knowledge and the experience to help you. And so be aware, even when you're choosing a business coach, it's not all about you know they understand a little bit of social media it's are, do they have clients have they worked in that environment do they understand good and bad clients and how problematic they can be how the message can be really important for instance i i've you know operated in the legal industry and you have to be very careful on social media what you put out on on the legal industry because you could be tre treading on toes with cases so be very careful Guys, when you're looking for a coach, look for someone that has experience, that has knowledge, that has wisdom, and has been on that journey or is on that journey now. God bless, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. So if you would like to work with me, if you are looking for some coaching and you want to experience what others have experienced, you want someone who utilizes a very unique skill set to help you achieve you what it is that you desire in your life if you're looking to start a business if you're looking to become an entrepreneur if you're looking to get out of the nine to five grind or you have you are suffering from spiritual crisis and you need some guidance in some way and you need another uh, insight into uh, deeper aspects of your, yourself and your position now then message me uh, let's have a chat. Let's set up an appointment. Let's have a let's have a conversation. Let's talk and see where I can take you. Uh, now it's your opportunity to work with me on a one to one basis and to see if I can help you realize your desires and your dreams for your life. God bless, guys.